Flash floods have affected hundreds of households in South Sudan, the United Nations said Monday, leaving several families without shelter and access to drinking water. In the Jongle State, Bor Town, some 375 households were left homeless after heavy rainfall caused flooding in four areas of the state capital. Residents said they had no essentials and complained the government hadn't provided any help. Maper Kudakui, a community leader in Bor, said the floodwater was contaminated, bringing in malaria, pneumonia and other diseases. There is no medicine in the hospital, only the clinic saves us, but if you don't have money, then you cannot get treated, he said. Many children lost their lives, women miscarried, and other elderly, died because of ignorance from the government, he added. You come boy. I chill on me. Piata, puke a right. Is a baking malaria. We like that, I should lose. So Pana come did a chilly well. He like a chip better Pana come did. Lekin well. I live here a bacala watch. I just can't even could I eat chin wait at Kumasalabato. Lekin quite with Riak, quite with the woman now. I do it. I look at a forty degree Michela. So the Arjaria. Kumis juga ariak, aku tu kau di ariak, ya. SpaceX launched its enormous Starship rocket on Sunday on its boldest test flight yet, catching the returning booster back at the pad with mechanical arms. Towering almost 400 feet, the empty Starship blasted off at sunrise from the southern tip of Texas near the Mexican border. It arced over the Gulf of Mexico like the four starships before it that ended up being destroyed, either soon after liftoff or while ditching into the sea. The last one in June was the most successful yet, completing its flight without exploding. This time, SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk upped the challenge and risk. The company brought the first stage booster back to land at the pad from which it had soared seven minutes earlier. The launch tower sported monstrous metal arms, dubbed chopsticks, that caught the descending 232-foot booster. It was up to the flight director to decide, in real time with a manual control, whether to attempt the landing. SpaceX said both the booster and launch tower had to be in good, stable condition. Otherwise, it was going to end up in the gulf like the previous ones. Everything was judged to be ready for the catch. Once free of the booster, the retro-looking stainless steel spacecraft on top continued around the world, targeting a controlled splashdown in the Indian Ocean. The June flight came up short at the end after pieces came off. SpaceX upgraded the software and reworked the heat shield, improving the thermal tiles. SpaceX has been recovering the first-stage boosters of its smaller Falcon 9 rockets for nine years, after delivering satellites and crews to orbit from Florida or California. But they land on floating ocean platforms or on concrete slabs several miles from their launch pads, not on them. Recycling Falcon boosters has sped up the launch rate and saved SpaceX millions. Musk intends to do the same for Starship, 
the biggest and most powerful rocket ever built with 33 methane fuel engines on the booster alone. NASA has ordered two starships to land astronauts on the moon later this decade. SpaceX intends to use Starship to send people and supplies to the moon and, eventually Mars.